What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Wolf Glick and I'm the 2016 Pokemon World Champion and today I'm here to walk you guys through one of my favorite new Pokemon introduced in Generation 7, Mudsdale. So Mudsdale is really really interesting. For one, it's the Draft Horse Pokemon. I don't know what that means but um, it makes Mudsdale very very cool. It's got a really cool design and it has some very unique characteristics about it. So what do you need to know about Mudsdale? First of all, it's a ground type Pokemon, which means that it has limited weaknesses and also limited resistances. Weakness to water and grass um, and ice, I believe, are the main ones. And a resistance to poison and rock, and that looks like just about it. Um, immunity to electric, of course, is, is the main resistance. Electric and rock are the big ones, but poison is also bigger this year. Um, the interesting things about Mudsdale are it gets the stamina ability, which means that every time it gets hit by any attack, physical or special, its defense stat increases one stage, which makes Mudsdale like a very, very interesting Pokemon because it just opened up for some really unique combinations. So, um, and the other interesting thing about Mudsdale, in my opinion, is its access to this move, High Horsepower, which is a strong, not 100% accurate, but high accurate um, single target ground type move. And traditionally in VGC, ground type moves have been, um, they've been kind of like very limited. Like we've always had Earthquake, but uh, Earthquake is unfortunate because it, it has spread damage reduction and it also damages your partner. So um, Earthquake, there's not like a lot, like we had Drill Run in generation five, six. Um, but other than that, there's not been a ton of single target ground type moves. So high horsepower is actually very, very, very useful in double battles. Um, and in terms of its stats, other than a low base speed and a low base special attack, which doesn't actually matter, Mudsdale is very good stats across the board. So um, it has a lot of things really going for it. Its pre-evolution is really cute. We can look at this. Look at this thing. It's a donkey. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and jump into the set because that's what you guys are probably interested in. So this is your your first set here. Um, I think that this, these EV spreads, this EV spread specifically is probably pretty good. You have the stamina ability because own tempo and inner focus are not nearly as good. Um, the idea with the Assault Vest is that it boosts Mudsdale's special defense, and combined with its ability to boost its own physical defense, it becomes very hard to take out, combined with like a relatively high base attack stat, um, and good coverage. So, that's the main idea of this Mudsdale set. I think it's actually, like, pretty, pretty solid. Um, I've run some calcs just to show you guys, um, a good sense of what you're going to be dealing with, so... Um, this is, I, this is what the special defense is for, and the rest is put into attack, but it works out nicely, so... As you can see here, Tepulele, Psychic, Modest, and Psychic Terrain does not do a KO unless they get a crit or a special defense drop or, you know, 98% of the time it won't, it won't do a KO. And in return, you do launch a very powerful Heavy Slam. So, um, Heavy Slam, obviously a very good move versus Tepulele especially. Um, Tepu Bulu as well, but especially Tepulele. Um, and the ability to have a very high chance of Okoing, like a pretty pretty defensive um, Tepulele is, is really nice. Uh, moving on, this is Mudsdale versus Torkoal. I've talked a lot about Torkoal because I hate Torkoal. This is Torkoal Eruption versus Mudsdale. This is a cheat wave. As you can see, Eruption does not do a KO, and high horsepower will take a, like a large chunk out in return. Um, and Eruption is definitely one of like the strongest moves in the game. Um, and just so you guys are aware, let's plug in choice specs here. Show you guys how much Eruption will do more, but that's not the move you're going to be taking most of the time. So you can see, even with choice specs, heat wave is not is not. Uh, a two at KO, which is really good because you want your Mudsdale to be surviving and like having a strong special attack like attacker like Torkoal in the format can make your survivability definitely decrease. But uh, with the assault vest and it's good, it's like pretty like not. But with an assault vest, the special defense is not mediocre at all. So um, yeah. Also, by the way, I didn't talk about it. I don't personally think it's worth investing in defense and speed because you're never gonna go that much like go that far with speed and defense you'll boost on your own. So um, you can also supplement defense with intimidate and will o wisp and that kind of thing. But Moving on, this is Mudsdale Horsepower versus uh, Alolan Marowak. This is plus one calc, so we can take this away and I'll show you guys. Flare Boots will actually do a sizable chunk without a boost, um, but if they hit you with like a Rock Slide or something, you're going to get to like plus, plus two, oops, whoa, 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 wrong set. If you do like plus two defense or something, or plus three or whatever, like you can see these moves are just going to go, you're probably not going to get to plus six realistically, but even a plus one, you can probably expect to be a plus one. Um, you can see Shadow Bone isn't it to a KO, Flare Boots will take Recoil and probably KO themselves after a high horsepower. Um, because you have a good chance to Oko with high horsepower, uh, and that's assuming they're max HP, and I think that's a fair assumption to make, but not all Marowak will be max HP. Um, Mudsdale's also nice because if you want Trick Room, you can underspeed. You can see without investment, Mudsdale is slower than Marowak, which means if you if you need to underspeed Marowak and Trick Room, you can do that with Mudsdale, which is really nice. Um, next set that we have here is Choice Band. Uh, not not necessarily the same idea, but it still takes advantage of stamina. Um, in this situation, you're trying to get more, like do more damage in one hit versus multiple. The the idea with assault this is you survive longer. Choice Band capitalizes on Mudsdale's already like really good natural bulk, and so it's, it, like counting on it not getting okoed, and instead um, 
relying on Choice Band to help pick up uh, KOs and yeah, tr basically charity power versus survivability because Mudsdale's survivability is always already like pretty high. Um, the EVs I EV'd here for was I wanted to make sure you could always OCO Torkoal. That was the main thing I EV'd for. That's how much it takes. You can see if I just decrease this just a little bit. Um, what it doesn't take much to like OCO, I, I normally feel comfortable. Like for surviving stuff, I normally go to the extreme and then EV that to live that most of the time. But when I'm trying to OCO stuff, I always go for the. I almost always go to always OCO. It, it's a little bit. Uh, I don't really know how to explain why, but I mean, I guess I could just tell you. Like. If you if you calc for the maximum on their offense, you can you can expect to survive because that's only assuming like you like most people have less than the max. But you don't like they like somebody could very well decide that putting I don't know four defensive EVs and Torkoal could be enough. If I decide to drop this down more, like I don't know, like eighty seven point five is I wouldn't want to lose a game on a thirteen percent chance, you know. So um, yeah, that's why is that right? I don't know. Um, but that's why I chose this. Like oh, that's why I choose to do that. Um, EV2, always OCO. So here's High Horse, but I was just curious versus Marowak. You can see that does a lot. I think that might even KO and Intimidate. Maybe not. Yeah, not going to KO after and Intimidate, but you still are going to do a lot of damage. Um, Earthquake, don't, don't pay attention to that. That's an accident to be there. And then uh, this is actually very interesting. So people are going to be counting on Tapu Bulu as like a great Muzzdale switch in because it resists High Horse Power, but if you heavy slam a Tapu Bulu, it's going down. Like, uh, they probably won't run much more defense than this either, because I think they want to be offensive and maybe have some speed as well. So, um, yeah, Heavy Slam is going to do a large chunk of damage to Tapu Bulu, which is really convincing. I won't show you guys Tapu Lele or Tapu Coco, because you OCO those anyways. And you can just take my word for it, Calc, if you're curious. That's not right. Lastly, we have this kind of fun set. Um, Mudsdale, I think, will be using, like, probably not the set most of the time, but I think this is really fun and creates some interesting conditions. So, this set is intended to be paired with a Pokemon that learns Beat Up. Beat up is interesting because it will immediately boost Mudsdale to plus four defense, which then makes it like very difficult to get rid of. Um, you can play our beat up, I guess, on any of these sets, but I like this set especially because it has recovery. Um, idea here is just survive and become like a, a tank. If you can find some way of boosting your special defense with light screen, with Aurora Veil, with something like that, um, that would also be really good. Um, I guess you could drop protect in theory. I kind of like protect personally, but you don't necessarily need it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much that and yeah it just moves i chose heavy slam and high horsepower as the offensive moves because they hit they're like its strongest moves and its best coverage moves like i want to be able to hit tapu bulu and i want to be able to hit everything else that, that's like on the ground and not resistant to um to ground so uh, unfortunately tapu tapu lele is like is going to do a lot this is the maximum investment you can do with without an assault vest um and so like that just goes to show how strong tapu lele is um but i still think it's worth investing in special defense because if you boost your special defense even one stage or like if you like, if you remove terrain, you can get this down to like very, very insignificant amounts of damage. And when you can heal and do damage back, why is this heavy slime not in here? Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, like so as you can see, you're going to be doing a lot of damage in return. And we can even make that four. Yeah, nice. See, that's good. Let's see, like that's like a sizable chunk of damage. If this is like not max HP, you can see you're going to be doing like that's not bad at all for four attack. Like you're still doing a lot of damage. Um, this is high horsepower versus Tapu Koko. I wanted to show you guys that we still KO the major threats. Tapu Koko, not a threat to Mudsdale. And then lastly, this is Choice Specs Torkoal Heat Wave. So um, I'll also show you non-Choice Specs Eruption. You can see that's going to do a lot, but um, because Mudsdale does have speed Torkoal and like either, I feel like they're either, I don't know, like either they're Choice Specs and they go for Heat Wave because they don't want to take a high horsepower or they're non-choice picks and they go for an eruption and um high horse will do a lot in return so torkoal obviously one of the strongest attackers in the format um and you can see that if you can just damage torkoal before it uses eruption force it into using heat wave it's not going to be doing that much damage and it will be boosting your defense so yeah mudsdale obviously not i wouldn't call mudsdale a torkoal counter but it definitely it definitely doesn't lose to it um yes so now you're probably wondering about partners. So I actually, two of these partners I just like because they have beat up. Beat up is a really fun thing to pair Mudsdale with, as I mentioned here, because uh, beat up attacks like individually for every Pokemon on your team. So if you have four Pokemon left, if you like lead off with a beat up Pokemon, uh, you can boost Mudsdale to plus four physical defense in one attack, which is like really crazy because then, then your opponent has to rely on special attacks to get rid of it. So um, that's why two of these sets are very specially bulky. Um, Whimsicott, same thing, only it also gets Tailwind and... Um, I guess Z Memento in theory, but you can't use that on Battle Spot right now because it's glitching the game. So you can't use Z Memento on Battle Spot, don't try it, but you could use Memento to help boost Mudsdale um, and some other stuff as well. Uh, and then lastly, we have Tapu Koko with um, Protect, Wild Charge, Uter, and Braver. And this is also be a special set. Special with Tapu Koko is pretty popular at the moment. Um, this set was taken from my guide on Tapu Koko. If you're interested in seeing that, I will link it in the description down below. Um, Tapu Koko is good with Mudsdale because 
Um, it threatens the water type fit at Mudsdale for super effective. Um, Mudsdale doesn't really mind ground type Pokemon because most of their attacks are physical, and Mudsdale will boost its defense when hit by like an earthquake or a physical attack. Um, and Tepecoco, what else? Good versus flying types, and so if you're running a set like this where you don't have a lot for like Celesteela, for example, Tepecoco very good uh, is a very good Pokemon to pair much to deal with so i think that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you like this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe um i've also just been overwhelmed by how much support the channel's been getting and how many like views and subscribers so if you're just joining us now like thank you very much i hope you i hope you enjoy what you see so um that's that's it guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it um and i'll see you next time make sure to leave recommendations down in the comments below because um it's like i'm gonna knock out a ton of videos over the weekend so let me know what you want me to what you want me to do okay